A lot of people who were and are our friends, but who were Brexiteers, are looking at what, what happens to the territories and including Gibraltar after we impose Brexit on them, which they did effectively. So I think there's, there's, there's a lot of, uh, of, if you like, um, a lot we can take out of that because obviously they want to try and repair mm. what 96% of us thought was damage. And, um, and, but you have to remember these parliamentary committees. This is not the, the British government looking at it. This is uh, a, 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 select a, a, a select committee of, of MPs mm. trying to see how they interact with us, i.e. Parliament, and then maybe how, the, how they feel the UK government should interact with us. That's not the same as a manifesto commitment from someone no. to do X or Y or no, Z. But, no, but what's the, what's the... I mean, OK, so that, that puts it into perspective, but are we likely to sort of go further down that road of removing those um, re reserve powers, or are we quite a way away from it? Do we want to be British? Is, my, is what I answer to that. Mm. If we want to be British, there are certain parameters that have to be kept. And the reserve powers, as soon as you touch those, you're touching the core Britishness of Gibraltar. And we cannot have a debate where we're saying we want self-determination, we want to remain British, but we want more power. Because there you're heading towards independence and all sorts of other issues with international connotations. So it's, it's a beginning of a conversation. And the UK government, and Dominic, you, you, you probably know this better than I, but I, I seem to recall that we ran a story after the, the last um, uh, meeting of the OTs, and I think in the, in, the, in the declaration, the UK government said we will happily engage with the OTs to talk mm. about constitutional reform if that is where they mm. want to go, and we yes. will explore. So it's the beginning of a conversation, I think. Yeah. It's, it's and Christine, issue. with the UN in mind as well, this is all to an end, uh, this all has the purpose of getting getting us delisted. Well, that is one of the things that the Chief Minister told us when, when, when we spoke to him at the time, that uh, every little bit of self-governance is something that you can sell eventually towards um, getting delisted. And uh, what Robert said, yes, this, these are the parameters, but I think that they are willing to look at... Um, I think I, I can't remember very, very much what the Chief Minister told me at the time. I think it was the UK government is more receptive now, which is what you, you guys have been saying. But whether there is a bit more between A and B that Gibraltar can, you know, achieve, uh, modernise its constitution within parameters. Oh, absolutely. I think the most important thing that's really happening is that given the likelihood of a Labour Party, Labour, and certainly Stephen Doughty has been out here, he's met the Chief Minister, he's met um, the, the Deputy Chief Minister, he, both here and there. Um, Labour are being very clear to all the overseas territories about their commitment to them. So we're, this is not, we're not going back. They, they are completely allergic to the idea that we could go back to sort of the Blair issue. Or the and it's not a Corbynista Labour either. No, but know, I think the one not... that worried us was always the Blair uh, Joint Sovereignty type thing, and that's completely out of the yeah. window. So what you're going to get in, 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 I think, more and more, and I thought it was really quite significant the other day, I mean, when one reads a lot of these things into it, but um, Hodge using, Margaret Hodge using Gibraltar as an example uh, to the other territories in leading on issues of transparency and so forth. It's hugely important. It means that we're putting ourselves in a place of trust, which is those are the issues that do concern, and this is why reserve powers tend yes. to exist. It's a and, debate and on the public. It's about trust, and yes. so the, the, the most important thing that has been happening is the building of trust across all the floors.